Hey, you know what this is? That's right, it's a cricket. And crickets are closely related to grasshoppers, but they are different. Crickets are jumping insects, and even though crickets have wings, most of them are not able to fly. And just to clarify, insects have a head, thorax, an abdomen, and six legs. Hey, guess what? Did you know that there are over 900 species of crickets? Some species of crickets are omnivorous, which means they eat both plants and other animals. But there are some other crickets that only eat plants, fruit, seeds, and leaves. Crickets shed their exoskeleton when they need to grow. Crickets vary in size from as small as a tenth of an inch to up to two inches long and are usually black, brown, or green. They have long, powerful hind legs that they use for jumping. Crickets can jump as far as three feet. And this is also because most crickets have two different pairs of wings. The wings in the front are tough and stiff, and the wings in the back are long and thin, and they also help the crickets jump. Crickets also have long, thin antennae that they use to smell and touch. Crickets use chirps to communicate with each other, and they chirp by rubbing their front wings together. And hey, guess what? Did you know that it's usually only the male cricket that chirp, and they have different songs for different purposes? And the most common songs are used to attract females. Crickets are usually nocturnal, which means they come out at night. And that explains why the chirping of crickets is so common to hear at nighttime during summer. Crickets chirp at different speeds depending on how hot it is. The hotter it is, the faster they chirp. As cold-blooded insects, crickets need warm weather to have energy. When it is colder, they lose energy and their chirping slows down. Female crickets can lay up to 200 eggs at a time. Newly hatched crickets are called nymphs. They look much like their parents, but do not have wings. And they become adult crickets after molting around six to 12 times. This means they shed their skin and grow slightly larger after each molting. Crickets are common in tropical areas and other warm parts of the world. Crickets can be found in fields, trees, bushes, woods, and even caves. When you mean woods, do you mean like forests? Yeah. Oh, okay, makes more sense now. I thought you meant like in wood. I was like, why would it be in wood? Uh, never mind, just let's go. Crickets don't have many ways to protect themselves from predators, and many animals like frogs, snakes, and spiders like to eat them. The best protection crickets have are their strong legs, which allow them to hopefully jump far, far away. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about crickets. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. And also, if you want to learn about dragonflies, check the link in the description. Another really cool insect that you should know all about. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.